Okay, so we talked about cutting a little on each side and how we'd come in here with a tool bit. In the real world back there, Austin started lining this up and the reality is by the time we have this little imaginary tool on each side, it's very narrow, it's not very strong. So if it goes in here, it's gonna probably wanna break. So we kinda, Austin came up with another idea, which is we use a tool that's still not taking the whole size, but is in, in here. And it's gonna be a quarter inch wide is what it is. So what he's actually gonna do, which is better than what I was suggesting at first, is he will come in and take out this center section and then take the big one to take the rest of it so that he's got a little bit on each side and the loading is even on all of the tools. Same concept as far as what it did. If we had a huge key, well, there's a point where it's just playing too huge too. And we've also done that on some of these. You'll come in here and you'll chase it and move it along. If you've got a long flat spot, you don't have to just cut this shape. You could come in here just like you would on a big shaper. They'll work with continuous cuts and you can, you can shape a whole surface with that machine too. You can make squares, all kinds of things. You just can't cut very much at a time. But when you're cutting a whole surface, you normally don't have a side, an edge on the tool hitting, which is in your way all the time and causing you deflection. You're usually doing one or the other. So if you would say you wanted to do this but it was super, super wide. Come in here, take a good size tool, but not so huge that the machine can't handle it, cut in the side, cut in the side, and then we'd start with something smaller and traveling back and forth till all the middle was gone. But uh, yeah, Austin came up with a good solution there on the reality of the sizes, and that happens a lot of times between the planning and the office and the real world, it's not always the same, which is part of why as builds are really cool if they actually come from drawings of real things. When the as builds get built half from the original drawings because the as built uh, draftsman wasn't really doing his job, then they're pretty stupid sometimes.